Hey, what's good family? In this video, we're going to hop in, take a look at the charts, and I'm going to try to explain the difference to you between supply and demand and support and resistance. So real quick, before we get into the trade opportunity that was to be had on Palantir today, let's quickly go over what the difference between support and resistance and supply and demand is. When it comes to looking at support and resistance, support is going to be kind of like a floor is going to hold the price of the stock up and if it falls below support there's a good chance it's going to continue falling and resistance is the same but the opposite a resistance is more like the ceiling if, if for some reason you're able to bust through the ceiling you can go a lot higher assuming you can fly like you're a balloon or a bird or something and when it comes to supply and demand a demand is going to be similar to support but instead of it being a floor you can think of demand is more of a trampoline so you come into the demand zone and it's going to bounce you back with momentum so demand is like a springboard it's going to shoot you up and supply is kind of the same but to the downside so whenever you come to a demand zone it is typically a zone where there will be aggressive buying that is going to push up the price and whenever you come to a supply zone, it's, it's typically an area where there are a lot of sellers that are that's going to push the stock price down. All right, now taking a look at this, right here, we actually have a demand zone. Here, let's drop to the one hour. That's where I actually drew this. If, if you saw the watch list I posted this morning in Discord, you saw that I called out this demand zone right here and said that if I saw Palantir at this level, I was going to load the boat. If you bought a $27 call on Palantir inspiring this week, when it touched this demand zone, you probably would have came down on it. But assuming you drew your stop loss to cover the whole demand zone, once it reversed, you should have been able to catch the run up to almost $28 and not even getting the optimal entry down here. Had you been able to get on that, that yielded about a 50 to 55% return. And that was over the span of maybe like 30 minutes or so. So right here, taking a look at it on the five minute chart, entry would have been right here on this candle. This is what supply and demand looks like on a lower time frame. So we got all this really heavy selling. We knew there was a demand zone right here. And then we get this strong bullish candle and then we get more bullishness after that. So me personally, when I make trades like these, if it's just a day trade, I'm not going to ride it to the supply zone. But if you're nice with it and really trying to get into it, there was actually a supply zone right here. Stemming from this purple candle right here that it just barely tapped into. If you set an alert right there, you would have got alerted that... It crossed into that demand zone and you could have taken your profits. But once again, going back to that five minute chart, how I personally would have traded this. We came in, you see I have my alert set right here at the start of the demand zone. I might start watching to make sure it doesn't break or if I'm just eager, I'll hop in right at the start of the zone. Have my stop loss down here, just barely past the zone. And, and wait and hope that we get the reversal that should happen in the demand zone. And right here, you can see we get that reversal. It runs up right here. And right here, once we lose this momentum and we get kind of like this start of this sellout, this is personally where I cut out and take profits. Assuming it's one of my good days because, you know, sometimes I get greedy and I want to, you know, ride up to supply and... It always seems like whenever I try to do that is when they want to change it up. But this right here was a 64 cent move. And this was the equivalent to about 50, 55 percent on the $27 call strike expiring this week. It would have taken $60 into about $109, $110, somewhere in that range. And that is all in the matter of about 30 minutes i'm trying my best to share more plays share more examples of good trades when i see them when i see the opportunities when i call them out if you watch my watch list in the morning you see what it looks like in the morning when i'm looking for potential trades and this is my goal to come in whenever the trades play out to show you 
what's made those plays work. If you found this video to be helpful or learn anything, be sure to smash the like button. If for some reason you're new here and haven't already, be sure to subscribe. And last, but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching. Matthew Manuel signing off, and I want to change your life.